hello guys welcome to my channel once again today i'm have an interesting video to show you guys on how to fix a cam color on your vintage shirt or your normal shirt i can see this is my vintage shirt but i'm going to show you the formula to fix it both on your shirt and on your vintage shirt so i want you guys to uh, watch the video very carefully after watching the video i want to know how you guys feel on the comment section don't forget to like and share the video to your friends and please if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will be notified when i upload the new video so guys i want you guys to watch this video very very carefully you can see my neck very neat and tell me how you feel and if you have any questions please feel free to ask on the comment section and i'll get back to you so now i'm going to show you guys how to fix um, this cam color or your vintage shirt or your normal shirt let's start this video this is the comment i want to use come there and the length is uh, 16 the still is my normal neck the round neck of my vintage and the, the width is 3 3 inch is, is the width so now i'm going to uh, um, first of all fold it into two like this i can see how i fold it this is very very simple method then i'm going to slant uh, the edge like this i did not cut it straight just plant it like like this i can see can see how I slant it with my scissors now from here I'm going to measure like two and a half inch then I mark it with my, my pen you can use your pen or your pencil you can see my marking then with my ruler I'm going to uh, draw it from that two and a half inch to the edge of my neck remember I put it into two and this is what I'm going to have I see my neck now I'm going to cut it with the shape of my marking I hope you guys can see what I'm doing very simple uh, this is what I'm going to have you can see how the neck is now I'm going to comb it with the fabric here is the back I'm going to come from the back like this or turn it the other way around I hope you can see what I'm doing then I'm going to fold here you can see there is a leftover allowance here and also here I want to fold this place you can see then after folding I'm going to stitch it here straight like this and this is what I'm going to have after doing that I have stitched it you can see you can see the line then also I'm going to bring another one this one is the one place it on top like the same thing with the one the one I used to commit you can see there's a allowance here for the sewing allowance I'm going to stitch it from here the edges of the of my neck of the gum and this is what I'm going to have after doing that. Okay, now the lens is too much. I'm going to shape it like this. You can see how I shaped it. I shoot my hand from the swing. Shape it round. After that, I'm going to comb my neck to make sure that it is combed before I turn it. Comb your neck very well. Make sure that your neck is, it is combed before you turn it. Now I'm going to turn it. After doing that, now I'm going to turn it. No rush. Please after, after watching this video, and if you have any question, like I said before, please ask us ask, ask on the comment section. Now I'm going to press it to make sure that my neck uh, it lasts. Press it very well with the iron. Make sure you turn your neck your neck very well. You can see the allowance for the twin allowance. Now I'm going to shape it a little because it's, it's too much. You can see how I shaped it. I still have a twin allowance there. Okay, guys, now my neck is now ready. Next thing is to fix it on my vintage shirt. 
I have my vintage shirt. After sewing everything, like after uh, sewing both the sleeve and the uh, everything, next thing is the neck. The format for the neck is that you add two inch to the neck. My neck is 16, and I, I added two inch, which is 18. Add two inch to your neck, and also your shirt button open like here should be four inch. Whether you have you are sewing for shirt or vintage, if you want to fit a camp collar on your shirt. You should make uh, your shirt button for four inch. You can see my own is four inch. Whether for vintage or for normal shirt, your shirt uh, button open. This place, this this place is where you do a uh, button hole. Should be four inch, not more than or less than four inch. Then, like I said before, your neck you should add two inch to your neck. If your neck is 30, add 2 inch to your neck, which is 32. If it is 100, add 2 inch, which is 102. This is the formula. Simple. And see, I have finished sewing everything, like put the hand, the sleeve, before I start fitting the neck. Here's my neck. My neck is 16. Let's check my own neck. I added 2 inch to my neck, which is 18. Then I stop at that folding, you can see the folding where I fold it. You can see my neck here. What I have now is 18. My neck. But my neck is 16, not 18. Okay, now I'm, go I'm going to minus one inch from each side of my front pattern. From that folding, you can see the folding. You can they will use your scissors and take a mark here. Start you, you will know where you fold it. Then I'm going to minus one inch from each side of my of my front pattern like this. Fold it backwards from that folding. Then I'm going to measure like one inch. Use your, your chalk or anything you're using to take it so that you know where you measure it. Then I'm going to sew. I'm going to stitch from here to that one inch. I'm not going to stitch more than that one inch. Then I'm going to take the mark here, like this, from that one inch, then turn it back again. And this is what I'm going to have, something like this, turn it very well. You can see what, what I have here, then I'm going to do the same thing at the other side, the same thing, there's no difference. The same thing, take a mark so that you know where you fold it. Then turn it uh, backwards. Measure one inch. The same one inch. Like this. Then also stitch and stop at that one inch. This is the first step. Please subscribe to my channel if, if you have not done yet. Same thing, you can mark here. Then turn it back again. And this is what I'm going to have. The same thing. You can see? Then this foot in here, I'm going to stitch it to the neck so that it will not disturb me. Stitch it to the neck. So that it will not disturb me the time I'm going to stitch the neck. The both side, the same thing. Remember, this is just the formula to fix put on your shirt and also on your little shirt. Here also, stick it to the neck. And here is my my neck. I see. This is what I'm going to have. They are equal. There's no difference. Equal. The same one inch. I see. 
their oil war. Okay, now I'm going to fix the neck from that uh, from that allowance. I'm going to stick it like this. Make sure the two allowance are equal, both the one on your shirt and, and your neck. Remember, make sure that the two allowance, the one for your neck and the one for your little shirt, before you start stitching, make sure that the equal there is stitched from that allowance. Stitch it to the other side. Then after that, this is what I'm going to have. Now I'm going to turn the other one inside. I'm going to push it inside of the neck, like this. You can see. Then I'm going to stitch it from the neck, on top of the neck, like this. Push the other one, the sewing other one inside, so that it will not show outside. Stitch it very well. Take a tender rush. Please, uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask on the comment section, like, like I said before. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not done yet. Take your time, say it very well. Say it very well. And here's my neck. This is what I'm going to have after doing that. You can see. Very neat and simple. Next thing I'm going to do now is to press it. So if, if you have any question, you yeah, are free to ask in the comment section, like I said before. Free free to ask question if you, if you have any question. I can see my neck. Very neat. Now I'm going to press it. You can use water, you can spray water on it before you press it inside, it will last. Make sure you press it very well. You can see my press my neck. You can see now I'm going to fold it into two the neck I'm folding the neck into two like this you can see what I'm doing then also press it with my iron okay now after doing that this is what I'm going to have you can see how I, how I fold it I fold the neck into two next thing I'm going to do now I'm going to do the button hole and put the button Let me lock it. And here is my neck. After doing that, after pressing it, it sits very well. It will last. I has my neck. You can see? Very neat and simple. Please, if, if you have any questions after this tutorial, please visit us in the comment section and I'll get to you. This is now my neck. This is the latest model and the simplest mo uh, method of fixing your cam collar on your shirt or on your vintage shirt. And I hope you guys learned everything I did here. But if you have any question in any aspect of it, you are free to, you are free to ask questions on the comment section. Please don't forget to like and share this video to your friends. And most especially, subscribe to my channel if you're not done yet. So for now, I'm going to stop here for now. Now I'm going to prepare another interesting video for you guys. Please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified when I start uploading the video. Because I'm just starting. I have more of this uh, tutorial to you guys on the tutorial. Please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video.